So, just a few minutes of your time, please. I want to talk through the ghillie kettle accessories. Um, I talked earlier about the kettle itself and I showed you a few bits and pieces, but uh, just like to go through it in a little bit more detail. So, you've got your basic ghillie kettle. What else can you do with it? So, not only does it boil water, but you can use it for cooking, warming other foodstuffs. You can do soup, beans. Um, it's really only good cooking for one person. Um, so you're never going to do a gourmet meal on it. But if you're fishing, off-roading, uh, camping, whatever, and you need to just warm for a bit of grub, then it, it's going to do everything for you. Or even if you're out at work. I've used mine when I've been out at work. Sometimes when I used to work in the fencing business, I would use it, I'd have it in the Land Rover and um, it was great, yeah? So, they will start at the top, <laughs> logical. You get a pot support. This device sits on the top here. This is designed to uh, support the uh, uh, one of the uh, pots or the fly pan that goes with. This sits on here. So, uh, with your flames are coming up, you've got heat coming up through here. Now, really you can use this um, when the fire is just alight. So you would get your fire going in the bottom in the fire pit, the flames would be coming up here heating, and you would be generating enough heat here in order to warm something through. Um, so that's the pot support. Put that to one side. The other way of doing it, this is the fire pit. So part of the cook kit that you get comes with these two uh, semi-circular pieces of chrome grid. So these sit into the fire base, like so. Can you see that there, hopefully? Yes. So, and the other way of using the cook kit, this is the large uh, version. This will sit on top of there and uh, gives you more direct heat to the flame. So you obviously can't use the kettle at the same time. Let's assume that you've warmed your water and uh, you've got a nice fire in there still, or you've stoked the fire up. So you've got the uh, large pot going and you're warming through your baked beans or your soup or whichever. So the other half of the cook kit is a shallow uh, plate or frying pan, depends how you want to use it. And again, this will sit onto there and you can uh, fry a couple of rashers of bacon maybe or a couple of sausages. You can of course cook something directly onto here. So if you've got some ash, hot ash and stuff in here, um, or you've maybe got just a couple of little tiny charcoal briquettes maybe, um, you're generating enough heat that you can barbecue, grill up a few sausages. So the other part of the cook kit is the uh, gripping handle. This is a fairly standard, which I've dropped on back. This is a fairly standard gripping handle. This is to uh, take the pot on and off of the uh, fire. Uh, obviously it's going to get hot, so it's very thin anodized aluminium, so like so. And you just grip it, fairly standard for camping. Works equally well with the frying pan, so I'll try not to drop it this time. So, and then finally the last thing is the triangular base stand. I actually think this is probably one of the things that you need to buy when you buy the kettle. This sits in the, underneath here, and this supports the fire base off the floor. So uh, this will prevent potentially fires, uh, but it prevents uh, contamination of the ground, staining of the ground, the burning through. And because it's on three legs, you get much better support for the, uh, for the kettle. Sometimes you can find if this is a little bit uneven, on uneven ground, then maybe this, the, the, the base won't sit right. The three legs will do that for you. So um, that's about it. There is a smaller cook kit available, which goes with the Maverick Gilly Kettle. The Gilly Kettle Maverick is the smallest of the uh, three sizes that is currently available, and it's the only one that has a smaller um, cook kit. So the uh, pot stand is the same size. So that sits on there like so. It's obviously got a little bit of room, but it won't fall off. Uh, designed to take the slightly uh, bigger fry pan too. Um, the uh, grid that comes with the smaller kit is smaller because the fire pit is smaller. So everything with the Maverick is that slightly smaller. But the Maverick is favoured by those people like solo fishermen, solo travellers. You know, if you're cycle touring or something like that, or even maybe a motorcyclist, and uh, you want to get down to as small a size as possible, you're only dealing for yourself all of the time. It's not really suitable 
for uh, two person use. You can get probably two cups of tea out of it. The Maverick is a half litre size, but we digress slightly away from the cook kit. So, but this is the uh, standard aluminium version. Um, as you can see, there's got no hard anodized finish. So um, that's what that is. So uh, hopefully that's all you need to know. If there's anything else, please get in touch with me. Thank you for looking. We were touring gear and I'm going.